This morning I attended a private lecture here at Sotheby's where we all had a little bit of breakfast and I'm looking at this wonderful chandelier and these amazing selection of glasses. Perhaps my favourite piece in this room is this wonderful late 16th century Chinese jar that would have been exported from China along one of the trade routes, possibly to Holland or directly here to England. Quite a magnificent piece. This vase, on the other hand, made into a lamp, seen here in the picture was made towards the end of the 19th century. On the wall, graces a wonderful Belgian tapestry. Another very, very popular design in China. But I was here to see this amazing collection of mice and porcelain. This coffee pot that dates from about 1725 is an exceptional article of mice and painting. Perhaps one of the most important pieces of its genre ever made. Likewise, this coffee pot is only one of two made in the Botka era. This is Meissen, held at its very, very best. Moving on to this pair of figures. The male is got the stamp of Bustelli, the most famous of all 18th century models. Right here, Nymphenburg. And going back here, I find interest in this particular pair because there, there are many pair of Jardin is very, very sensibly priced at four to five thousand pounds. I once paid five and a half thousand pounds for a pair of 19th century Jardiners. And here we have secondary factories hushed in their own right quite rare. <laughs> An exquisite pair of mice and doves. Again, the mark is very, very barely seen, being rubbed out. This is a good Shunazri Bika dated from 1725. Just the gilders mark is evident. A difference in style in the make of Frankenthal, as is this Frankenthal figure of Pantaloon. Often do pack here the Viennese maker gets mixed up with vodka porcelain of the same period. Spectacular painting all round. I do like these ducks. Sensibly estimated at thirty to fifty thousand.